we have a histogram that is given the x-axis is t time and the y-axis is the frequency density the height remember this is the frequency and this is the frequency density so from the histogram we have to read the information and fill up the table we have to find the frequency remember frequency density equals to frequency divided by class width that makes frequency which is the area as the height of the histogram frequency density times the class width so from here if you want to find this the frequency for this building is this one so this building so for finding the frequency we need the class width now this one is so the height of the building or frequency density is 5 and the class width since there is no gap here so the class width we don't have to do the continuity correction of 0.5 so the boundary is going to be 25 and 18 so 25 minus 18 is going to be 7 so this is 7 class width is 7 and the height is 5 so frequency is going to be frequency density times class width 5 7 is 35 so this would be 35 For the next one this one so the class width is going to be 15 so this is going to be 15 and the height is 1 so this is 1 15 into 1 is 15 so done in question number B estimate the number of people remember number of people is represented by this frequency frequency this 500 meter is a noun it is the name of the race it's a 500 meter swimming race so don't get mixed up with this number so estimate the number of people who took longer than 20 minutes so longer than 20 minutes means if this is 20 minute from here so this is this one and this one is longer than 20 minute so what you need is this area and this area remember frequency is area so if you know this area and this area that would be the total longer than 20 minutes so longer than 20 minute means from 20 and till the last moment which is 40 so this area would be longer than 20 minutes so this rectangle has a height of 5 so from 20 to 25 the class width is going to be 5 so we can write this as so total frequency or total number of people is this area which is going to be 5 times 5 plus this area which is going to be class width is 15 times 1 so that would be 25 plus 15 that would be 40 40 people this is a rather irregular sum because it uses a rule that is there of course that that rule is very common but this type of sum is not usually tested so I want you to pay special attention to this particular irregular sum and remember this irregular sum the first thing that you need to remember area is proportional to the frequency of the histogram so area is not equal to the frequency area is proportional that means the area is equal to some type of a constant times the frequency so this constant what we assume we usually assume this to be 1 so assume k equals to 1 but that doesn't happen all the time in this particular sum we have to know the relationship of area and frequency because if we want to do this sum the first thing is this is a 5 mark sum now they ask for find the number of runner meaning frequency between 78.5 to 90.5 so that means this one this one now you know the class width is 90.5 minus 78.5 so that is going to be 98.5 minus 90.5 90.5 minus 78.5 that is going to be 12 so this this class width very easy to know that this is 12 and if you pay attention here this is a rather small picture but if you pay attention here 
we know the frequency density this is 0.5 then we know this is 2 so we know this is 1.5 this is 1.5 this is 2 then we know this is 6 we know this is 7 we know this is 5.5 .5. so from here this is 5.5 .5. so we know all these information so if you just do the sum so this area if you consider this to be so the height is 0 0.5 so the area is going to be 12 times 0 0.5 12 times 0 0.5 in one line the sum is done so the clue is this is a 5 mark sum so there is something to do with k we have to know the relationship in this sum what is the value of k usually we just do the sum assuming k equals to 1 so here we have 140 runners that means the total frequency so this is the total frequency at the same time we have enough information to find the total area so if we know that area is equals to k times frequency and if you know the total area and if you know the total frequency total frequency is 140 and then we can find the value of k that will give us a clear idea of what's going on so let's do this so total frequency or total area so total area is going to be so total so total equals to so this class width is going to be 1 and this is 6 so 6 times 1 remember frequency density equals to frequency divided by class width so the frequency can be found by multiplying the frequency with the class width that's what we're doing the next one next building is everyone is one everything of this is one unit because this is 60 to 62.5 this is two units so this is one unit so this is 1 times 7 so 7 is the frequency density times 1 so the next building is 1 unit 2 unit so 3 unit and 1 unit 4 units so 4 times this is 2 so 4 so 2 is the frequency density times 4 plus so this one done this one done this one done this one is 2 unit and the frequency density is 6 6 times 2 plus this one done this is 5.5 .5 and this is 2 and 1 3 so this is 3 unit times 5.5 .5. so 5.5 .5 times 3 plus this is 2 to 4 5 unit 5 unit times 2 so 2 times 5 plus this is 2 and 1 3 unit 3 unit this is remember this is 2 and this is 1 3 unit and this is 1.5 so 1.5 times 3 plus this is 2 4 6 8 10 12 unit so 12 unit and this is 0.5 so this is 0.5 times 12 so let's calculate this I hope there's no mistake because I've done this rather quickly so 6 times 1 is 6 plus 7 1 is 7 plus 2 4 is 8 plus 6 2 is 12 plus 5.5 .5, 5.5 5 .5 times 3 okay plus 5 to the 10 plus 1.5 into 3 1.5 times 3 plus uh, 0.5 is half 6 uh, so this is 6 so 70 we found that the total area is 70 therefore total area 70 equals to constant time total frequency is 140 runners so 140 so therefore the k is 70 divided by 140 equals to half so the area is actually half of the frequency so now if you find the area here that makes it hence so for this one for 78.5 to 90.5 we can find that the area is 12 times 0.5 because class width class width 
is 12 and frequency density is 0.5 that is the area so 12 times 0.5 so equals to k is half times frequency so we need to find the frequency so therefore the frequency is going to be 12 times 0.5 times 2 equals to f therefore f equals to 12 because 2 into 0.5 is 1 1 into 12 is 12 so there are going to be 12 runners so this is a sum for which the value of k is not equals to 1 so let's do this sum a teacher recorded to the nearest hour the time spent watching television during a particular week by each child in a random sample okay so the data here is time time watching television so the times were summarized in a group frequency table and represented by histogram okay one of the classes in the group frequency distribution is this so we have this 20 to 29 this is one of the classes so this is the time watching television and the frequency is this so that means number of children so the frequency is the number of children so the frequency is 9 so the information that we have is the height of this rectangle the height of this in the graph is 3.6 centimeter so 3.6 centimeter high and 2 centimeter wide so the width is 2 centimeter and 3.6 centimeter so this is done so the first thing that we have to answer give a reason to support the use of histogram so you know we use histogram if the data is continuous since time is continuous we need to use a histogram question number B write down the underlying feature associated with each of the bars in the histogram well each of the bar the area is proportional to the frequency so we can just write the area is equal to the frequency we can also write the area is proportional to the frequency by writing area is equal to the frequency I'm just assuming that k equals to 1 it can be assumed of course in all the sums it doesn't happen but you can also say this is most of the time then question number C we have to show that on a histogram each child okay now first of all for this bar for this the area is going to be length into breadth 3.6 centimeter times 2 centimeter so this area or frequency means 9 children so area is 3.6 into 2 which is going to be 7.2 centimeter square now remember this area means 9 children now they were talking about one child each children so you can write therefore each child represents what area the entire area divided by the total number of children which is going to be 0.8 centimeter square so that's it in question number D the total area under the histogram is 24 centimeter square that means if a histogram was drawn and all the area under the rectangles under the histogram was found that would be 24 centimeter square so the total number of children in that group so think about it if one child represents 0 0.8 centimeter square now we have 24 centimeter square how many children so number of children 24 centimeter square divided by 0 0.8 so that is going to be 24 divided by 0 0.8 is 30 